welcome Dave Thornton. <laughs> hello, hello. So, I'm at the kind of age now where I feel like I should buy a house. I mean, I haven't bought a house uh, because A, auctioneers don't appreciate lose change. <laughs> and B, I hated how real estate agents bamboozle me with all their jargon. Like I was on a website recently and saw they were offering a house and land package. They're offering house and land. <laughs> what do you have to mention both of those things for? I thought those two things were mutually inclusive. <laughs> like to me, if you've bought a house without land, that's a fucking boat. <laughs> we're all so worried about finances now, aren't we? We're so worried about finances ever since the global financial crisis. <laughs> global financial crisis, or as I like to refer to it as, the financial crisis that caught up to white people. <laughs> Seems Europe and America are like, oh my God, it's a financial crisis. Africa's looking back at him going, welcome to the party, bitches. <laughs> Been asking for a well for 30 years, for God's sake. It's, uh, you can see how some of the problems occur, don't you? Like the EU, they form the EU. Uh, every country still kept its own head of state, but they got one central bank. Intrinsically, that's going to cause a problem, isn't it? Imagine living in a share house with 17 people but sharing the one bank account. <laughs> Greece is like your bong smoker, mate. You've got to keep changing the pin number on it. <laughs> and it's strange. Europe's in trouble. America's in trouble. America, trillions of dollars of debt. Some countries in Europe, quarter of the population, unemployed. And here in Australia, it's like we want to be a part of it. We're like, yeah, well, shit's not easy here either. <laughs> Qantas didn't fly for three days. <laughs> Three days? People on the news going, oh, I couldn't get to work on Monday. It's like, dude, we come from a country that takes a long weekend for a British queen whose birthday it isn't. <laughs> Her birthday's in like mid-April. She's getting phone calls in mid-June from drunken Aussies just like, good one, Lizzie! Whether we like it or not, there is money in this country. There is money. There's money in Western Australia. The resources boom. It's crazy. Like, if you're ever in Perth, right, and you're bored, and you will be, <laughs> go to Qantas Club. Go to Qantas Club there. It's an anomaly. Around the rest of the country, you go to Qantas Club, there's just stressed out businessmen just there in their shiny suits, thumbing through the financial review, just scrolling through their Blackberry, just, oh, look, Sinclair. Oh, look, the NASDAQ's down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No, nah, not in Perth, just happy guys in high vis shirts, steel toe shoes, stubbies, with one nut hanging out. <laughs> and what do you do, sir? I dig a fucking hole. <laughs> now give me some camembert cheese and pinot noir, chop chop. <laughs> They have to pay for anything, they just shake their beards and gold dust flies out. <laughs> like a bogan Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's all from me. Have a great night.